Okay, guys, I'm out here today on this beautiful day. It's probably 64 degrees, and I'm loving every minute of it because it was, it's been pretty cold the last few days. And on top of that, we've had that time change. So now we're, it gets dark earlier. So I really hate that. But this is what I'm uh, doing today. I got my wife's little sound XB waxed. Got the headlights all cleaned up, everything good to go. I didn't really hit the wheels too much because it's supposed to rain the next day or two. And I'll just wait and do a real good cleanup on after the rain because it gets all that brake dust on it and stuff. But right now I'm waxing this little, I call it S10 Ranger. It's a Ford Ranger. It's 93. And it's nearly, let's see, 93, 2003, it's nearly, uh, it don't like much being 28 years old, 29. Anyway, uh, I'm out here what, giving it another coat of wax. I thought I was pretty much done for the year, but on days like this, when it's real pretty, I just like to get outside. So even if it's doing this, I'm protecting it. A lot of people might say, and well, I'm sure they do. When they, when I talk about, I gave wax jobs and stuff to my wife's car and my truck and stuff like that. You know, why? Waste your time on a vehicle like this 93 Ranger. Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, it's cause I had to work for it. Uh, even though it's a 93 Ranger, I had to go to the bank and borrow money in order to get this. And, uh, when you, when you do something like that, it kind of makes it a little more important or it does to me. There's a lot of things in life that you got to keep paying for. Such as you gotta have gas, you gotta have food, you gotta have shelter, you know, clothing, stuff like that. But on vehicles and, you know, and homes and stuff like this, you know, when I get something, I try to get it paid for so I don't have to buy it again and again and again because every time you do that, uh, you know, you're taking away from another pleasure that you might like in your life or, or helping someone else or something like that. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, so I try to take care of my vehicles and my home and everything else the best that I can because I don't want to go out and have to get it again, which, you know, buying another truck. I know this Ranger is not worth very much, but it is to me. And I, I've worked hard for it just to get this Ranger. And I've had it probably, I'm going to say 15 years, give or take. You know, I've, I've had it a long time. And I, I mean, I know the, the paint's fading. I have it. I have, I'm not done waxing. I was going to show you this real quick before the sun goes away. I have waxed from here to here. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but you can tell how much duller it is from here. You can see the line where I hope that you can. I don't know if you can or not. Let's try this fender. I've done two just for demonstration. Let's see how dark this fender is now and how dull this is. And I don't know what it is, but this little ranger, it, 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 when it rains a few times and stuff and sets out, it gets dull pretty quick. So I got to stay on top of this ranger and I got to stay on top of these beauty rings. These are aftermarket Corvette Rally beauty rings. They're really cheap made. And if you look real close, you can see where some of the chrome is not as good as it used to be. But I've seen some people not even wipe them down or I'm sorry for the plane. I live next to an airport. And sometimes, every time I start a video, a plane will come by. But getting back to this, these are aftermarket cheapos. And, uh, you know, if you don't stay right on top of these little cheap beauty rings and stuff, the chrome is real thin to begin with. So you got to really stay on top of them, motor form, not to start rusting and, you know, the chrome just completely going away. I'm hoping you can see the difference here. I've already waxed the top, the hood. All the windows on the outside, windshield, side windows, door mirrors, and uh, I'm using this pinstripe as a guide. I'm going right down through here with my wax. When I get all that put on and take off, I'll go from the pinstripe down. That's how I do because I have a tendency of forgetting where I'm at, especially if somebody's talking to me or I went to go get another cup of coffee. But you can kind of see the difference. I, I hope you can. I'm trying to show you anyway that's the best i can do but anyway I, if i know a lot of people say well why do you even waste time on stuff like this but 
as I said, if you go to work and you get up early in the morning you and you do a job, especially in my life, speaking for myself, if you do a job, it, I mean, you just practically just hate to go in because you hate your job. A lot of people have jobs, and I'm I'm really proud for these people that go in, have a job that they enjoy doing. I've never had that in my life. I've always, like, worked in a factory or doing something that I just, I don't mind working, don't get me wrong. Otherwise, I wouldn't be waxing. But it's just, I just hate a job that I can't stand. And it's not so much the job. Let me say this. It's not so much the job. It's just the people that's in management. That's what kills me do some of the dumbest decisions anyway i don't even know if i'll post this video because i'm getting kind of way out there but i'm just going to show you if you get a chance to do your vehicle uh make sure that you uh you know keep a good wash and wax on it and uh, try to take care of it if, if unless you like unless you get a new vehicle every year which i've never had a new vehicle my whole life i'm always about 10 years behind so you know, it's pretty easy to go out there and get a new vehicle, but I just don't like those payments. I just really don't. But, I mean, if you can afford it, that's great. I'd rather spend my money on something else like old vehicles, which is, in some people's opinion, that's a dumb idea, too. But that's just me. I'm, I just like doing that, so that's what I do. Sorry I got carried away. I don't even know if I post this. This is pretty stupid. It, it got way out of hand. Hope y'all's having a good day. If you like this kind of stuff, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. That would mean a whole lot to me. Share this with your friends. And uh, my wife has me on Instagram as Primer is Best. It's all one word. And also, uh, she has me on Facebook. And she does all the work on Facebook and Instagram. I'm, I'm still trying to get caught up on it. I've never have been one to be on Facebook or anything like that. So you're going to have to give me time to Give me a learning curve, I guess. But until then, uh, I hope y'all's having a good day. It's a beautiful day here, and I'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. See you later.